Welcome to the fourth video of this series. In this video, we'll be looking at how to set up power measurements and using expressions. So now the next objective is to understand what is the power consumption of this circuit and specifically how much power do we lose in the MOSFET. So Altium does come with power probes, which you can use um, just like you would use the voltage and current probes. I, th I think that for SPICE models, especially sub-circuit SPICE models, sometimes it's better to use a expression to calculate the power. So let's uh, have a look at that. So first of all, we would like to know what is the input power, the, the load power, and then we will define the power into the MOSFET. So to do that, I'm just going to go to my output expressions, just rearrange some of these, um, maybe two, and I'm going to create a new plot. And first of all, I would like to get the power supplied by the source. And to do that, you just say P, V1, and that is power from the source. If we then go to make it as a new plot, and if you click on these three uh, dots, you, you'll have more options, and you can actually pick your waveforms from here. Uh, so I'm going to call this uh, power source. What and also I would want to know what is the average power. So this is going to be the instantaneous power. I also want to know what is the average power power consumed over the five periods that I'm going to be simulating for. So if you go to the measurements tab, add a new measurement. I'm going to call this average power source. Uh, and then we select average from here. And if you keep these blank, that means Altium will calculate the average over the entire simulation time. Let's create, do that and create. So now, we, so now we should have a plot that will show us the instantaneous power and also we get the average power. So while we're there, let's also add the power into the load. And now we need to calculate the power loss in the MOSFET. So for this MOSFET, the, the power loss will be, first of all, uh, the drain to source voltage multiplied by the drain current. Add uh, also the gate to source voltage multiplied by the gate current. So let's add those. So first of all, for let's open these three dots. And first expression is we want to calculate the difference, uh, the, the differential voltage the, the, from the, uh, the switching node to the source. And we want to multiply this by the current going into the into that drain channel. So current is I now. Uh, because this is, has multiple ports in it or multiple pins, uh, we need to know from the SPICE model what the pin numbers are. So for this specific model, the pin numbers are drain is pin number one uh, and gate is two and uh, source is three. So first of all, we put in the designator Q2 and the pin number one. So that means uh, it's the voltage difference voltage, the, the drain to source voltage multiplied by the drain current. So that's the first one. And then we also need to add the power from the gate to source as well. That should give us the power uh, lost in Q2. So that will be power uh, Q2. And also I'll, I want the average as well. So I'm going to say average power Q2. That will be average. Um, and all of these now are in uh, a plot number three. I might just change the colors a little bit. So I make this one green, make the load red, uh, and make this one perhaps blue. So let's try and run this now. Okay, so here we are. We have our uh, first plot shows the switching voltage and the coil current. And this is going to be the voltage across the load. And now we have our power. Now, we also want the average power that we specify. So if you go to the measurement tab, and here you are, you have the, the average power um, uh, in, in all of the parts that we specified. So from the source, we're, we're supplying 4 watts, the load 2.6 watts, and we're losing about 0.7 watts in the actual MOSFET. So, uh, And of course, you can go back and do a sweep of the coupling coefficient and the load to see how the power changes. And this is the end of this video. In the next video, we'll be performing power loss optimization and how to use the sensitivity tool.